Chairman, uh, the President of the United States, let's deal with the facts and not conjecture, uh, is now a named under oath unindicted co-conspirator in federal crimes. That alone is reason to leave no stone unturned, spare no effort to examine this President's conflicts of interest and compliance with our tax laws, as I wrote to you in February of 2017, asking the both of us to do this on a nonpartisan basis, since it's all going to come out in the end. You chose not to. His co-conspirator, his personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, was pleaded guilty in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York to five counts of tax evasion, one count of making false statements to a financial institution, one count of willfully causing an unlawful corporation contribution, and one count of making an excessive campaign contribution at the request of a candidate. We all know the story. Michael Cohen paid off the President's paramour, paid off the National Enquirer for a story about another affair with another woman and former Playboy model. Trump then paid Cohen for those payments. These payments, illegal campaign contributions, may have been written off on Mr. Trump's taxes as business expenses. The public and this Congress has a right and a duty to find out if there's any conflicts of interest with any member of the executive branch of government, including the president, under 6103, written in 1924 and 1925. Three committees are allowed to look into these things. Us, our great committee, the Senate Finance Committee, and the Joint Committee on Taxation. There is credible evidence that the President's business engaged in money laundering to profit from real estate transactions when lawful institutions would not loan him the money. We know he has a history of money laundering. His Atlantic City casino was fined for it by the IRS. He was a history of tax avoidance, has been complicit in money laundering schemes. You can't make this up. Yet my colleagues think checking out his tax returns would be an overreach. You know, just like the 50 tax returns you looked into six years ago. But that's not why I'm here to talk today. We need to know how the President has personally benefited or will personally benefit from the tax policies that he himself has pushed and signed into law. I think that's a reasonable look and oversight. That's our responsibility. This is what checks and balances means. I'm sorry if it causes pain, whether Democrat, Republican, that's our responsibility in writing. This would be an egregious abuse of power, but this committee is unwilling even to consider it. Nineteen times. The Attorney General of New York has also filed suit against the Donald J. Trump Foundation and its board of directors, alleging they violated state and federal laws by governing charities, by using the foundation as a slush fund for political favors and cleaning up Trump's legal How Mr. the heck Mr. Pascrell, since we're down to just a few seconds, I'll reclaim for just this purpose. You can reach out for technicality.